Hey guys, this is Vishal from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session. Today we are going to discuss top 10 reasons as to why AWS is an absolute must when it comes to learning it or using it to solve various business problems. So let us move further and take a look at these reasons one by one. Firstly on this list we have security. Now there has always been a debate as in whether cloud services are secure or not. But AWS puts all these debates to rest. It provides you with security that meets the need of both small scale and large scale businesses. Plus what it does is it provides you with complete security. That means your business owners can focus more on the business goals and don't have to worry about the security part. Now there are compliance programs which help you set up your security better and also provide you with real time security. That means you can have real time insights on various vulnerabilities and security issues. Hence if security is your concern. Don't worry AWS will definitely help you solve that. Next on this list we have API. AWS provides you with various programming APIs. So if you are dealing with different programming modules, don't worry. AWS will take care of that as well. Plus what it does is it helps you have a strong infrastructure programmatically. You can launch instances, you can take backups and also focus on those AWS resources which would help you save time and money. Next we have recovery. Now I just discussed security and yes security is important but that does not neglect this point that is recovery. There are quite a few businesses in the market which cannot tolerate downtime. They have zero tolerance for it. In that case having an application that serves your recovery purpose as well is very important. Now AWS provides you with platform which is very versatile and also provides you with various recovery tools. Hence recovery is also taken care of by AWS. Next on this list we have customization. Now what AWS does is it gives you various features to customize your applications and your infrastructure much better. Features like tagging or having user defined tags lets you manage and monitor your resources much much better. Plus what it does is it gives you various options where you can track your costs. You can automate various things and what this does is this helps you customize your business much better. Hence if customization is your concern definitely again AWS will help you solve all your problems. Now since I've mentioned the word automation let's go ahead and discuss this feature which is automated scheduling. Now AWS deals with various instances and it is very important that you know when to start and stop these instances. This is where automatic scheduling comes into picture. Since you can schedule your instances much better your services like EC2 and RDS can function very well. Because you do not have to worry about they being in a running state when there is a downtime or when the traffic is very low. Plus there are quite a few third party tools which help you eliminate coding or scripting completely. And these features go very well or very hand in hand with your scheduling features. Hence these two features are very important when you talk about choosing a very strong cloud service provider and AWS is definitely one. Now next on this list we have consistency and reliability. Now AWS is an extremely useful platform when you talk about backups and disaster recovery. That is why it is highly reliable. Plus what it does is it gives you negligible outage and very less downtime. Yes there was a time once when the outage was very high but it has dropped down a lot and there have been no outages whatsoever. Even the survey which was taken in recent times proved that it provides you better reliability or less or negligible outage compared to other service providers like Microsoft or even Google. Hence if you talk about consistency and reliability. Yes AWS is again the best. Next we have pass offerings. Now AWS is highly scalable and it replicates this feature into various other services which AWS provides you with. Say for example we have a database we have caching issues we have data warehousing transcoding storage and even application management. Now all these things can be scaled up and down very easily and very efficiently using AWS. And AWS provides you with a pass platform that also helps you solve various other problems. What this does is this lets you set your business up very nicely or your application and infrastructure very nicely. Plus this means that you are spending less on the setup and all those things and you end up saving a lot of money. Now third on this list we have global architecture. Yes AWS is a global leader when you talk about cloud services and it has achieved that thanks to its wide reach. So how does AWS do that? Well thanks to its global architecture again. 
Now it has various locations in the world where it has set up its data centers and those locations are called as regions and these regions they have various data centers or replications where they can hold their data basically and these replications or these data centers are known as availability zones in all aws has some around 16 regions and around 40 availability zones all across the world so that means no matter in which corner of the world or which part of the world you are based in you'll have some data center or region close to you which you can have access to so that when you talk about getting your data or processing your data using all these services you do not face any lagging or downtime issues whatsoever hence global architecture does come into picture and since aws has such a great global architecture all the more reasons why one should learn it or use it in their businesses next we have another very important point that is scalability this is one feature on which aws relies highly because when you talk about cloud services you are never sure as in how many compute capacities you need or what is your capacity for your computation plus how much space you would be using and these things they vary on real time basis so estimating these things can always be an issue and this is where aws comes into picture what it does is it provides you high scalability you can go ahead and use those resources which you want and you, if you want those in a more quantity you can go ahead and you can scale it further if you feel that there's downtime or the traffic would be low in these hours of the day you can scale it down as well that means it is highly flexible and it meets all your scalability needs basically last on this list we have pricing now this is a very important point money is important to everyone and when you talk about businesses if you can optimize your money there's nothing better for you what aws does is it serves all your purposes think of yourself as a student or a person who wants to get started with aws you have something called as a free tier what it does is it gives you access to all aws resources and lets you use those freely for one year yes there is certain data limit or limits on all these services as in how much can you use these but they would definitely serve your purpose when it comes to just learning those for businesses don't worry you have a model called as pay as you go what that means is you pay only for those resources and only for those hours during which you use these resources yes aws charges you an hourly basis and it charges you very less that is the best part plus there's also something else called as the more you use the less you pay yes the more resources you use again you would end up paying very less so this highly flexible pricing architecture of aws again solves and meets a lot of needs of a lot of users and i feel this is one of the very important reasons when you talk about using aws and all those things so this was the last point in today's discussion i hope you all had something new to learn from this session and i hope you are taking back something from this one that's it from my end i would be taking a leave now thank you bye bye i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning